presbyopia. Presbyopia is that problem people tend to get in later years when they begin to find they have to hold things further and further away from their face to be able to read them. And if they bring something too close or the print is too small or the light is too dim, it's really, really difficult to read. And this is when they start to get reading glasses, which are really just magnifying lenses, something like this, plus 1.5. You can buy them off the counter. So why does your eyesight get worse as you get older? Often you'll have been seeing perfectly well and sort of looking at other people, having their glasses and, and going into contact lenses and multifocals and thinking, well, my eyesight's fine. And then one day you find that your arms are getting longer and you still can't read the newspaper. Well, I think there's several reasons why it happens. One is sort of general wear and tear on the body. Things do get slower with age. Uh, normally in the resting position, your eyes are focused on the distance. So you actually have to put in muscular effort to see close to. And that will become slower with age. And you may want to rush it because you may expect to be able to read instantly in even dim light and small print and you know just like you used to and the the very act of rushing it actually generates tension and makes your eyes do the opposite of what you want them to do basically i think there's also a dietary factor i think a lifetime of eating too much refined food particularly sugar and maybe not enough green and red vegetables is going to have its effect on the circulation and on the eyes and every part of your body really. You know when you get diabetes it affects your eyesight, you have to be very careful. It's because of the having too much or too little sugar in your blood and if you eat refined sugars throughout your life this is going to have an effect on your body eventually. But the thing that interests me from the Bates angle is the brain function and the brain also slows down with age and what your brain has to do in order to create visual images inside your head is it not only has to point your eyes in the right direction, it has to converge them on the point that you're looking at and it has to change the focus appropriately and it often becomes a problem, this need to sh change the focus and also change the convergence at the same time. And you may find if you are having a problem reading that if you take away the need for convergence, so you cover one eye, either like that or like that, and you get your small print and read it with just one eye, you take away that need to converge as well as focus and that may allow you to relax enough to get the print. So one thing you can do is to work on convergence. A simple way to do this is to use two fingers or two pens and hold them up in front of you, in line with your nose. And let your eyes always be very relaxed and soft when you do anything like this. Let them close, make sure your breathing is easy and you're not holding anything in, your body's not tight. And if you look at the finger, the tip of the finger nearest to you and move the further finger around behind it, you can get to a point where you get two images of the finger behind, one on either side of the one you're looking at. If you look at the finger behind, you should be able to find the place where the images of the finger nearer to you, and you will have two of those as well, they will be on either side of the further one. And then you can switch between those two images always closing your eyes in between and in fact you can do it in your imagination and that's probably just as useful if not more useful. Imagine those two fingers in front of you and you're looking at the further one and the nearer one is split into two. You look at the nearer one, the further one is split into two and let it be easy. If it doesn't feel easy then you have to do it at shorter time intervals and spend longer relaxing with your eyes closed in between until you can do it easily. Another thing you can do is work with a sheet of print 
like this. I've been playing around and having fun. What I've done is I've typed out some of Dr Bates's text and I've started at the top with large type and I've gone down to smaller and smaller and I've got some little blocks of small at the bottom. And if you look at this you can see there's white paper all around the print and even in between the lines of print there are bigger white spaces and also smaller ones. If you start at the top where it's easier, assuming you find small print difficult, you can just follow with your attention. Now what I've got there is my finger to follow. You could use a pointer, like a, a pen to follow. If you can manage without a pointer that's even better because it just adds an extra thing to have to think about. And you're just taking your attention along the white. You're constantly shifting your attention, but always looking at the white between the print. Mm. 